Ahoy! It's the 2nd of September 2020, and we've got two pretty substantial tropical cyclones in the West Pacific. And we've got Tropical Storm Hai Shen, and then Typhoon Maysek. And they're both heading towards South Korea. Maysak intensified in the Western Pacific and headed in towards the island of Kumejima. I gave it a side swipe and brought winds of about 122 miles per hour wind gust at Kumejima Airport. And then it headed into the East China Sea, where it lies now. Maysak is still currently Category 3 hurricane intensity, but it's heading in towards South Korea, forecast to weaken a tad probably making landfall category one or two hurricane strength but look at this track it just goes straight up the peninsula it's going to bring strong winds for most of south korea hurricane force winds across the southern portion and then weakening into north korea but my god it is going to basically just go straight up the the middle of south korea by the looks of things and that means rain lots of it for a while anyway as the storm moves across the peninsula and moves fairly briskly up into then North Korea and later China. You see the heaviest rain in the totals is actually in North Korea, but um, it's going to be heavy rain for a period in South Korea with the usual worries of flooding and landslides. But Maysak is not alone. Looming out behind it is another huge, growing, powerful storm. And that storm is Hai Shen, and this is Hai Shen. It's now a typhoon, and the islands that you see here, that's Guam, and that is Saipan up here, right? And that's that volcanic island that got hit by a typhoon a while ago. Here's the Joint Typhoon Warning Center forecast. Down here is Guam and those islands, and there's Tinian and Saipan, and the storm is forecast to intensify and grow. Look at the size of this thing. It's getting really big and becoming a major hurricane strength system, according to JTWC, coming in at 120 knots across these islands and then into South Korea again. Now, this is actually seems to have shifted a little bit to the west. So, better check the forecast. Here we go. Let's jump in with the ECMWF. We've got Maysak up here heading into South Korea and then Haisen down here. Let's check it out. Okay, these are the surface winds and as we move forward, why? Okay, the storm Haisen comes up and starts turning, intensifies, heads into those islands and then into South Korea. So yeah, that's the European Center model is taking it just skipping past the south of Japan, but hitting the islands and then into South Korea. My god, it's almost making landfall at exactly the same place as the previous one. This is crazy. Okay, look at this. This is absolutely nuts. So, Maysak is coming in to make landfall directly at that point in South Korea, according to the European Center model. And then on the right, I've jumped forward to High Shen's landfall. I mean, they're basically at the same point. That is... I don't remember seeing something like that before. I'm sure it's happened. Here are some of the other models. Shows the general agreement. And you can see part of the problem is that the waters... These are the differences from normal and the waters are well above normal temperature-wise around Japan. In this whole area that the storm's going to be heading into it looks like the these are the this is a cold wake from that previous earlier storm, not Mesak, but the one before. So there you have it. I'm gonna have to wrap it up there. But two big big typhoons heading in, both with remarkably similar landfalls. And actually, there was an earlier typhoon. I've forgotten the name, but it came in and hit North Korea. So this is a a whole series of a bad bad year for South Korea and North Korea. All right, catch you in the next one.